Assalamu alaikum. My name is Moshe Bunker. As you can see, I'm Jewish. But today, I'm here to tell you guys the truth. I admit, it's time to free Palestine. The people of Palestine are suffering every single day. The people, the Palestinians living in the Gaza Strip are really suffering. Think about it. If you want to turn on a washing machine right now in Gaza Strip, you might not be able to because the electricity is limited to a few hours every single day. You don't have water running in your faucet for more than a few hours every day. Lately, during the conflict with Israel, it was only once every second day. You don't always know if there's going to be gas in the gas station to fill up your car. And most people living in Gaza don't even have cars to begin with. They're really suffering. Most of the food that goes into Gaza is from the UN. The UN is providing most of the food to the Palestinian population in the Gaza Strip. Again, they are really, really suffering. Their education system sucks. The hospitals there are terrible. They don't have any COVID vaccines there. Barely have any. They don't have freedom of press in Gaza. The situation there is really, really bad. And it's time to free Palestine. Think about it. A Palestinian that wants to choose where to education for his kids, he can't choose. He has the limited schools that are controlled by the Hamas party. That's all he has there. Freedom of press, you can't just say whatever you want in Gaza. All press is controlled by the Hamas. Everything. The millions of dollars that come in from donations throughout the whole world to the Gaza Strip gets controlled by a very small party, by a small group of people, the Hamas. Most of the money that comes in gets or invested in the Hamas members, the Hamas politicians building themselves beautiful houses on the, on the, on the water, the beautiful houses, but most of the population doesn't get anything from it. And the rest of the money just gets invested in building up a military against Israel. How stupid is that? How stupid is it for the little money that comes into the Gaza Strip, instead of investing that into building good schools, into building good hospitals, into building up future for the kids, for the next generation, most of that money gets invested in building up militants and missiles against the strong one of the strongest armies in the world, Israel. How stupid is that? And who's doing all this? The Hamas. It's time to free the Palestinian people from the Hamas. This terrible organization that's taking control over the lives of all these people living in Gaza. They make their people suffer. Then when it comes to a conflict, what do they do? They come and they shoot missiles from civilian areas from residential buildings towards Israel. Yes, Israel, thank God, has the Iron Dome that shoots down 90% of the missile, but the rest of the missiles, 10% of them, remember there was 4,000 missiles shot from Gaza into Israel. 25% of them actually landed in Gaza and hurt Palestinian civilians, but the rest of them flew out to Israel. 90% of those were shot down by the Iron Dome. But the rest of them went into Israeli cities in Israel. What did Israel do? Obviously, Israel needed to shoot back. What happens when Israel shoots back? Israel shoots back to where the missiles are coming out of. But when the missiles are shot from buildings that have people living in them, Israel needs to shoot back to those buildings. There's no other choice. What could you do? You're just going to let them continue shooting missiles? So you shoot back. But when you shoot back, what happens? People lose their homes. Yes, Israel tries to be careful and therefore shows a, throws a little bomb first on the roof. So everybody evacuates the building. Everybody gets out. They actually call everybody that's in that radius to let them know we're going to bomb that building, get out of there. And then Israel goes and bombs that building down so they can't shoot any more missiles from there. But think about it. People lose their houses. Little kids lose their toys. Everything. Everything goes. Because of what? 
because the Hamas idiots are shooting missiles to Israel? Really? It's not even doing anything. I mean, think about it. The Israeli army has the power to wipe out Gaza in 12 hours. There could be no more Gaza. Obviously, Israel won't do that because in Israel there's law and Israel won't go and just shoot at civilians for no reason. Israel tries to be very careful and shoot back directly, directly to where the missiles are coming from. But when Hamas hides their missiles on their hospitals, the only one, the, the, one, the main hospital in Gaza, the cellar of that building is Hamas's biggest storage for weapons. So what happens? Of course they get hurt. And it's sad that they get hurt. So it's time, it's time to free the Palestinians from this terrible suffering. We need to get rid of Hamas. We get them out there. Let the Palestinian people live a life. Why do they need to invest the money that they get as donations from the world into building missiles against the strongest army in the world? Invest the money in education for the kids. Invest the money in programs for the future to build it up. Invest the money in building up high-tech areas and train the young people about, into high-tech. You know what amazing things could be done there in Gaza if Hamas would not be in control? It's time to free Palestine, guys. Let's get all together, brothers and sisters, Jews and Arabs. Let's get together. Let's free Palestine from the terror organization from Hamas so the Palestinian people can live in peace. Bunker out.